What's good everyone, welcome back to the 2-Bit Crypto channel. My name is Mike, in this video we are taking a look at Shibnobi. Some pretty big news that's just come out of the AMAs over the last couple of nights. So if you are in the Shibnobi fam, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let's jump straight into this one. So we know there's a lot of talk around these exchanges. These five exchanges over the next kind of four weeks that Shibnobi wants to launch on. And we've got our first one, which is Probit, which we were expecting today, but it does look like it's been a little bit delayed. We got this from the Probit Global Support, that it's deposits from January the 26th to PM UTC, and trading starts on 3 o'clock on January 26th. So 24 hours behind where initially it was kind of going to be released, but again, just kind of talks about the links on where you can buy it. So we can confirm that Probit will be launching Shinja or Shibnobi on their platform in less than 24 hours time. So pretty exciting. We've obviously got SafeMoonSwap, Gate.io, LBank, and BitTrue. And I think it's going to bring a huge amount of catalyst into Shibnobi. The price has been going really well recently, including a lot of the FUD and a lot of the noise that's been going. There are certainly question marks over these wallets, which we're going to take a look at in just a minute. But overall, Shibnobi having a pretty good time. We do know that Shibnobi likes to do an AMA. Shout out to Rodney. I know he dropped a video, but my crypto journey on an AMA, which is unbelievable to see. Excited for the uh, blockchain. Can I ask a question about the blockchain? Uh, very sure. interesting. So why did you guys want to create your own blockchain? And it, and um, what does the timeline look like for that? And what kind of tokens do you want to have in your ecosystem? Because I think blockchain, blockchains are a fantastic idea and really the only real way to save from fees, right? And I guess shows some level of confidence in this project and the fact that they are willing to get him on there and didn't shy away from his question. And the question I thought was really great. So just to recap, he asked about the blockchain and we know Saitama's done it. We know that there's a few of the tokens that are have a desire to get this blockchain out. And I think the really interesting bit is Rodney talked about ultimately it's how you are going to reduce fees, how we get away from those astronomical Ethereum gas fees. But the blockchain is down scheduled for Q3 of this year and any token. They didn't really talk too much into the exact tokens that they're talking with, which is understandable right now because obviously they're, you know, they're working through it. But KYC vetted if you want to be on the Shibnobi blockchain or the Kasari blockchain. So pretty exciting. Good to see. What else did we hear from Shibnobi? Well, we also heard a couple of interesting things. They are working on a merch store. So we know this is, again, another big thing in crypto right now, that if you launch a successful token and you've got a lot of holders, people want merch. It's just the way of the world. Um, so that merch store has been worked on. I believe it's been supported by people from the community, um, which, again, is just really good and shows what, what Shinja and Shibinobi is all about. So a couple of the really exciting things as investors, I think, is worthwhile knowing, and I picked it up from the AMA on the 23rd. And I've really seen it in people talking about this, but Cliff alluded to a couple of things. When this token hits 50,000 holders, so we take a look on Dex tools right now, 49,547. Now, Etherscan will be a little bit less, but 50K holders, there are a couple of things that are going to happen which will really start to ramp up the price and really support you as a holder in the token. So look, 1.6 sectillion burn is what we're, sorry, 1.6 trillion, no, sectillion, oh my God. 1.6 sectillion burn, which is huge. It's a huge amount of money huge amount of supply that will be burnt at 50k holders which is great and that's quite commonly known but here's a really interesting bit at the current uh, tax rate is nine percent on shibnobi and cliff talked about once we hit 50k holders which he believes we're going to see over the next three or four days before getting into february he's going to adjust the tax on shibnobi which is interesting and again if he'd have announced the contract for sitama and Satamas, then he wouldn't be able to do this but you are going to hear this right now 12 percent tax on Shibnobi. Three and a half percent will go into liquidity. Three and a half percent will go into marketing. And five percent to reflections is huge. So currently it's three percent, I believe. Five percent of every transaction will be burned into reflections for holders of Shibnobi. So if that doesn't give you a catalyst as to why you wouldn't want to buy into this token. The, the reflections by themselves is going to be huge. So let's take a look at some of the numbers and some of the price. So currently in the 1123, burnt the zero up 22.3%. Now we have had some recovery in the market in general. But look, some of the stats, nearly 2 million in daily volume. Liquidity still holding really strong at $25 million, which is really good to see. Those holders that we talked about, it's getting close to 50K. And the market cap is slowly ever increasing back up to half a million. And look, will we see a billion dollar market cap with this token? 
I think it's quite possible when we see that sectillion burn, and Cliff said he's not going to announce when it is, but a big sectillion burn will really ramp the price up. We're getting rid of some of that supply, and I think this market cap is going to really start to increase. Okay, now, the hot topic with Shibnobi is the wallets that are sat there, and there's been lots of noise about these wallets. So, look, there's just a couple of bits I want to talk about in Shibnobi. So, look, we've got the top 10 wallets here, and we're going to take a look at some of these wallets as we kind of go through it. There is an official release from the Zendesk Shibnobi, which kind of talks about it. So wallet one, I think everyone can be clear that the null address, the dead wallet, 42.7% in the dead wallet, which is good. And again, you can see all of the transactions are into the dead wallet. I have seen tokens in the past where all of a sudden some of that liquidity comes back out of the dead wallets. But yeah, 42% burnt, locked, gone, cannot get anything out of there. So Shibnobi deployer, which obviously the, the contract deployer where the tokens come from. So we then have... Uh, wallet 2, collection of multiple groups have been locked investor tokens and at point being it locked uh, exchange listing, staking platforms, doji swap, leftover balance, etc. So that is ends in D96, which I believe is uh, this one here. So the 11th highest wallet you can see with a little contract next to it. So that's what that one is. Wallet 3, marketing wallet, which is the A2DB, which is quite high and wallet. So this one up here with 4.4% of it. Wallet 5, the tokens used for the team purchase during the pre-sale. So Cliff and LC. For further details of the pre-sale, click hash pre-sale. So you can see that the E2A wallet, which is this one here, again, with a little contract next to it. And then the last couple, Uniswap. I don't need to explain what that is. That's clearly the Uniswap wallet. And then the last wallet is the Gold Farm staking wallet, 3DFE, excuse me, 3DFE, which is uh, this one here. Number three, again, with a contract on it. So there's lots of talk around these kind of middle wallets and what they are and what they do. And again, Cliff's kind of talked around the fact that they're investors, they're early investors. You can see nothing's happened so 13 days ago. Um, so look, they're not transferring anything out, but I think the big wallets and a lot of noise about kind of what the intentions of these wallets are. Um, but look, as an investor, you either invest in it or you don't. If you're not comfortable with these wallets or you're not comfortable with the project, then don't invest. Again, the DeFi space is all about choosing your own decision making don't do anything that anyone tells you to do and if you don't like the look of these wallets then don't invest in this token go and look into another token if you do like it and you believe and here's the important bit if you believe in the project you believe in cliff and you believe in what he stands for well then why wouldn't you and if they are market wallets and you can see some level of marketing then so be it that'd be my view on it i'm invested in shim shibnobi does it mean that i'm completely invested absolutely not you know i'm, I'm invested in, in saitama i'm invested in shirio you know i like to diversify my portfolio which i think is important and then also into normal stocks as well so let me know in the comments down below what you think but shibnobi is certainly one i think that's going to be really interesting to watch over the next couple of weeks and we could see some really significant price movement don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys and i'll see you all in the next one